souls, let us pray to the Lord. Thank you. 
neither according to our sins has he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord has made his mercy to prevail over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our iniquities from us. Lord, make it wise of life. 
this, <coughs> this rise, the temple of thy body, on the third day of burial, thou didst rise up together with Adam, them that came from Adam, as they cried, Remember me, me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Yes, yet are you and men shall be born in numbers to give you. They shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Weeping, then murderers came into thy tomb early in the morning. O Christ our God, and they found an angel sitting clothed in white raiment, and he cried to them, What seek ye? Christ is risen, wherefore lament not. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. When thine apostle Lord came unto thee, Mount which thou hast appointed them, they worship thee, when they speak thou to your Savior, and thou didst send them, and the nation is the peace, and the Christ is the peace, and the Christ is the peace, and the Christ is the peace, Glory to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Father, and let us glorify the Son, and with one of our letters all praise the all Holy Spirit. Will the crying saint of all Holy Trinity save us all? Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, 
Yes, Master, him who proclaims the good tidings of all the apostles and evangelists. And evangelist this book enable you to proclaim uh, the blood tidings of the group with great power to the fulfillment of the Holy Gospel of the, of the uh, his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Be unto me according to the word. <coughs> Wisdom of pride and us heart into the Holy Ghost. Peace be unto all. And the readings from the Gospel according to Holy Apostle Evangelist.
Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory Amen. to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today our Lord Jesus Christ speaks about an unjust judge. But it's only an image for us. Because when we begin to pray, we begin to implore for God. The image sometimes confuses us. But the unjust judge is sometimes our own hearts and our own conscience. And we implore it so fervently and so long, trying through our prayers to soften our own hearts and to listen to our own conscience while we pray and see what things we pray for. If there is an unjust judge in this heart, sometimes our own hearts. And when we pray to God, we begin to pray before our own hearts, before our own conscience. We implore long and fervently, sometimes without thought, sometimes without <coughs> trying to purify our hearts and strengthen our conscience before we pray. The one thing about beginning to pray for something so fervently is to first search our own heart and our own conscience and see who we haven't forgiven and what we haven't forgiven. Remember that we're forgiven only to the degree that we forgive. That the judgment we give to others is the same judgment with which we'll be judged because it's our conscience who judges us. So sometimes when we have such a long time to pray before we receive, it is simply because of the condition of our own hearts and our own consciences. And our Lord Jesus Christ is trying to lead us through exam self-examination to examine ourselves, to examine our own inner person, and then begin to pray and to receive. We ourselves are the end of judge. And we ourselves must be softened, our hearts softened, in prayer. Tomorrow we're going to celebrate the Feast of the Publican and the Pharisee. And this reading today shed some light on that because it is a terrible thing to be righteous. Because Jesus Christ said he did not come for the righteous, but for the sinners. It's better to be a sinner than one of the righteous who's left out in the outer darkness. Because sinners know how to repent. Sinners know how to beseech the unjust judge of their conscience. It is better we hope someday that we could be righteous. But our Lord Jesus Christ became our righteousness for us on the cross. And he's the bridge we struggle to acquire. But our Lord Jesus Christ has made up the difference for us. And the thing is that when we start to beseech in prayer, whether we've given ourselves over fully to the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the co-suffering love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and whether we've struggled with our own conscience and our own heart, and whether we're praying with a pure heart and with a sincere conscience. That's why we have to pray so fervently, so long and so hard. Because we have to get through the shadows and the walls and the briar patches that are within ourselves in order to utter a pure prayer, in order to pray with a pure heart. We're trying to pray our way through our own inner darkness to the light of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is how we have to see this parable that to persevere no matter how much disappointment we have 
and to realize that it takes such a struggle, not because God's love is wanting, but because our own hearts and our own consciences are sometimes a swamp that we have to wade through, sometimes a wall we have to climb over, sometimes an abyss we have to climb out of through our prayers before we come fully into the light of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All America and Canada, for His Eminence, Lazar, uh, Archbishop of Ottawa and Canada, may the Lord God remember them in His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For our country, for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, for our civil authorities, and for the Canadian armed forces everywhere, may the Lord God remember in His kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For this, for all those who have asked us to pray for them, those who are sick, for uh, His uh, Grace of uh, Bishop Arlan, for all those who have asked us unworthy as we are to pray for them, for those who are persecuted for their faith, those who are suffering, for the benefactors of this holy uh, monastery, may the Lord God remember them in this kingdom, for all priests, deacons, monks, nuns, and for all the clergy and the people, may the Lord God remember them in this kingdom, you all Orthodox Christians in this kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Whose 
preaching was the consubstantial trinity. Rejoice, O Isaiah, a virgin is with child. Shall bear a son Emmanuel, both God and man, and Orient is his name. Magni who magnifying we call the blessed. grace divine which always heals that which is infirm and completes that which uh, is wanting elevates to the laying on of hands the uh, most devout deacon um, to be a presbyter wherefore let us pray for him that the grace of the old holy spirit may come upon him Lord, 
time, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For the second suffering, for captives and desolation, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For the affliction, red danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. Axios. 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 Axios.
complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who eat, and the with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, rest, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us our God by thy Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, 
and the glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified the soul by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the issue Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. <laughs> The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts.
that which is in this cup in the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Make the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Receive this pledge and preserve it whole and unharmed until thy last breath. For thou, thou shalt be held to be accounted thing for it at the second and uh, fearful coming of our great Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. That they may be for those who partake for the purification of souls, for the remission of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, and not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto you this reasonable worship for those who are called to sleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, every righteous spirit, make perfect in the faith of God. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the bird giver of God and the virgin Mary. Fragrance will come down upon us in return. 
His divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, our God, by thy grace. Lord mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord.
exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him and be enlightened and your faces shall not be ashamed. This word I cried and the Lord heard him and sent him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encounter all the those who fear him and will deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that hopeth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, all you his saints, for there is no one to those who fear him. Rich men have turned poor and not hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not be deprived of many good things. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What then is there who desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking God. Turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. And his ears are open unto their supplication. The grace of the Lord is against those who do evil. Utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried and the Lord heard them. And he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is near unto those who are of a contrite heart, and He will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil. And those who make the righteous shall do the wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the source of life and immortality, who art the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beingless Son of the beginningless Father, who in the abundance of thy goodness was in the last days clothed in flesh, was crucified and buried for us, the ungrateful and thankless ones, and by thine own blood didst refashion our nature, which has been corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept the repentance even of me, a sinner, and incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven, and before thee I am not worthy to gaze upon the height of thy glory. For I have provoked thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and by not obeying thine ordinances. But thou, O Lord, who art forbearing, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me up to perish in my iniquity, most surely awaiting my conversion. For thou, O friend of man, hast said, though thy prophet, through thy prophet, that thou dost not desire to the death of the sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou dost not will, O Master, that the work of thy hand should perish, neither art thou well pleased in the perdition of men, but thou desirest that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 
Wherefore, though I am unworthy both of heaven and earth, and even of this transient life, since I have wholly subjected myself to sin, and am a slave to pleasures, and have defaced thine image, yet being the work of thy creation, I, the wretched one, do not despair of my salvation, but emboldened by thine immeasurable compassion, I draw nigh. Wherefore, receive me, O Christ, thou friend of man, as thou didst the harlot, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins. O thou that takest away the sin of the world, who healest men's infirmities, who callest thyself them that labor are, and are heavy laden, and givest them rest, who camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and cleanse me of all defilement of flesh and spirit, teach me to attain holiness in the fear of thee, that with the witness of my conscience pure, I may receive the portion of thy holy gifts, and be united with thy holy body and blood, and have thee dwelling and abiding in thee, with the Father and the, thy Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thy immaculate in life-creating mysteries be to me for judgment, nor may I become infirm in soul and body by partaking of them unworthily, but grant me to my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy gifts for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for everlasting life and for an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal, that even I with all thine elect may become a partaker of thine undefiled good things, which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified unto the ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake of thy immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, that I am guilty and eat and drink judgment to myself, not discerning thy body and blood. My Christ and God, not trusting in thy compassions, I take courage and approach thee. Who did say, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, Abideth in me, and I in him. Wherefore have compassion, O Lord, and make not an example of me, the sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy, and let those these holy gifts be unto my healing and purification, and enlightenment and protection and salvation and sanctification of both soul and body, unto the averting of every fantasy and evil deed and diabolical operation working noetically in my members, unto confidence and love towards thee, unto amendment of life and stability, unto increase of virtue and perfection.
not just the uh, Archbishop of Ottawa and all Canada, but he's one of my oldest friends. Uh, we were in together. <laughs> from 1971, we were friends. And uh, we were friends with the League of Arlam, so we really looking forward to seeing him today. And we're so grateful that he could come and to be with us here. And this our joy, because today we elevated the son of our own heart to be the priest over the people here. And uh, not, a, not a strange voice that the sheep won't recognize, but a voice that's well known to us, that the sheep no one will follow. And uh, we're so grateful for this great blessing, and the blessing that it should be my old friend who came to do it, and uh, to ordain the one I've dreamed of being priest for so long. Now to take, uh, continue after us, to take one after the Deacon of our and I are gone, we have one of our own, and that's a great blessing for us. Someone we know and love and trust to be the shepherd after us. Father Markel, just make sure you pay attention to tomorrow's epistle, where St. Paul talks to his disciple Timothy, and he tells him that he should continue to do what he did before to imitate and to look and to learn from his elders. And uh, he also told him that to be a Christian, you have to uh, be a, uh, serve Christ with your whole heart, with your, uh, with your whole soul, with your uh, whole being. And he also said there'd be persecutions and difficulties, just like St. Paul was enduring. And Timothy had followed him throughout these persecutions and difficulties. There will come times in your service, uh, your lifelong service, where you will have difficulties, where you will have, uh, you will seem like you are lost, like you are in a cloud. That's just an illusion. That's the evil one trying to make you feel bad. And uh, realize that you may not know what to do. You may not know how to solve a problem, but God does. And never trust yourself, but trust in Him. Whenever you have any important decisions, important things to do, take it, put it in His hands, and things will just work out. Okay? Just, and be humble. Be humble. There's nothing worse than a priest who thinks he knows everything. Just accept it. No, it's true. It's true. I know. Uh, it's, it's a temptation for all of us. Okay? Don't let yourself to act that way. Because, you know, it's like bishops. They, they put us in the middle of the church and they dress us up and put crowns on our heads. And, you know, and they say, live forever. But God knows, you know, uh, some people it goes to their heads. And don't let the priesthood, don't let uh, the blessings uh, that people give you, you know, uh, be humble. Be humble, you'll be a good priest. I'm not afraid. And, and learn from your, the ones who are older than you. Grant the Lord a prosperous and peaceful life, health and salvation, in all things well being unto thy servant, um, to his um, eminence, Archbishop Irinay, who elevated to the priesthood uh, Father Markel, and also the Lord, uh, grant a prosperous and peaceful life to the servant of God, newly elevated to the priesthood Father Mar uh, Markel, and preserve them, O Lord, for many, many good Years, благоденственное и мирное житие, здравие же и спасение, и во всем благое послушание плач Господи, рабу Твоему. Матушки, матушки Раисе, отцу Маркелу и владыке нашему Иеремию. И владыки, и владыки Лазарю, и владыки Варламу, всем многая и благая лета. Многая лета, многая лета, многая лета. Спаси, Христе Боже, спаси. Yeah. 